Hello everybody. Today we are going to see customer invoice. That is accounts receivable in SAP FICO S4. Okay. The steps I am going to do is customer invoice. I am going to create a customer invoice in F-22 transaction code and post incoming payments in F-28 transaction code. So I am going to show this in the live system. Let me go to the SAP server. SAP system. Go to F-22. Okay, enter the document date, today's date, 18th. And my company code is AA01, currency is INR, Indian National Office. Okay, here I'm going to enter the account, customer number. Select the customer number. So this is my customer number, Jack Trading Industries. Okay. Press enter. So enter the amount, 50,000. Okay, so now I'm going to this is accounts receivable. So sold finished goods. Okay. Now select posting fee. It's debit entry 50. Credit entry, sorry, 50. Credit entry. So select the account. Sales account. It's going to be sales account. It's going to be posted in the sales account. Select the sales account. Now press enter. So when you uh, when you enter asterisk, the amount which was in, uh, entered in my previous window previously it will be copied here. Okay, press enter. Now press uh, plus button. Enter plus button. When you enter plus button, the, uh, the text which was being entered in my previously will be copied here. Press enter. Enter. Now save. Let me save this. Enter. Now. Document 50 is my number. Document number. Now come out. I'm going to post incoming invoice now. Okay. F 28. F 28. Post incoming payment. So enter today's date. Okay. Enter bank account details. Bank account details. Press enter. Bank account details. That is my bank account. This is my bank, HFC bank. Okay. Amount is 50,000 rupees. 50, so this account is select the other customer. Number. This is my customer number, Jack Trading Investors. Press enter. Document number is 50. Let's enter 50. Now save this. Okay. Double click onto this line item. Go and enter the due date. Due date is let me enter 22nd of August. Press enter and save. So this is my document number 8. Now let's go to FD. Tenant customer balance. Select the customer number. This is my customer number. Execute FD tenant. See here, no balance. No balance. So double click onto this line item. You could see that if there is any balance, it will show red. There is no balance, so it is showing green. Thank you.